Ms. Robinson, do you agree with Ms. Gaines that there's a difference between women and men? If the question is about trans women... I'm just asking, is there a difference between women and men? I mean, what I can say here is that the NCAA has rules in place. They've had rules in place for the last decade, and when this competition okay, okay, happened, I'm, I'm try the again. rules were clear. Do you believe there's a difference between women and men? It, it's a yes-no question. It is, it, do you believe there's a difference? Oh, I think that we're talking about this case with the NCAA. No, I'm asking a question. Do you believe there's a difference between women and men? Most think, people could answer this very simply. I, I'm curious if you're willing to do so. Oh, absolutely. I'm just putting it into the context of is the that conversation a yes? that we're having. I think that there are definitions related is, to is, sex. Is, is but that I a yes? Yeah. So I'm trying to get a yes or no. I'm not trying to get, get a speech. It, oh, I, is I'm, there a difference between women and men? I think that there are definitions for biological sex. Okay, so you're which not is answering that. Let me gender. ask you this question then. Yeah, if you were counting there, Senator Ted Cruz gave that woke leftist activist five chances to answer a very simple question Is there a difference between a man and a woman? Five chances. Needless to say, it all went downhill from there. Oh, I, is I'm, there a difference between women and men? I think that there are definitions for biological sex. Okay, so you're which not is answering that. Let me gender. ask you this question then: Why do women's sports exist? If you can't define a difference between women and men, why not abolish women's sports and just tell little girls to swim with little boys and see who wins? Oh, I'm simply saying that um, that sex is My different question, than gender. Why and I do, do believe why that women's, women's sports, sports have a great exist? value. I mean, Senator, I'll M tell you M right Ms. now. Ms. Robinson, please answer the question I'm asking you. Absolutely. Why do women's sports exist? I think that there are so many positive benefits to sports. But I mean, why have a separate category for women? If, if, you, if there's no difference between women and men, why to have women's sports? I'm saying that there's a difference between sex and gender and that the NCAA has rules in place, which they have for the so last Mr. decade. Mr. Chairman, I, I would like to enter into the record an, an article from Duke, Duke Law called Comparing Athletic Performances for the Best Elite Women to Boys and Men. And it goes through examining in 2017 the top records for women in the world in various track and field events. So, for example, in the 100 meter, the top record for women in the world was 10.71 seconds. Now, that record for the number one woman in the world in 2017 was in the year 2017 broken by 124 boys under 18. In that same year, the record for the number one competing woman in, in, in the 100 yard, 100 meter dash in the world was broken by a total of 2,474 men. If the radical Democrat agenda to destroy girls' sports and women's sports succeeds, little girls will not have a chance to compete. So I ask unanimous consent that this article be entered into the record. Gang, if you're like me and you've been wanting to get your concealed carry permit but have just found the barriers and requirements too burdensome to deal with, well, guess what? There's now an amazing solution to that. Countrywide Conceal is probably the quickest way for you to get your permit and carry legally in the majority of the states in the nation. That's right. You won't just be able to carry in your own state, but in 84% of the whole of the nation as well. It's as quick and as easy as watching a video and taking a quiz. And thanks to Countrywide Concealed, your family is that much safer no matter where you go. Getting a concealed carry license has literally never been easier. Click on that link below and join the million of patriots who've taken back their rights and started carrying legally with Countrywide Concealed today. Now, what you just saw there was a masterclass in logical humiliation. What Senator Cruz did there was he exposed for all to see the absolute absurdity that is modern day wokeness. The moment you try to impose a sharp contrast, this hard distinction between these two terms, sex and gender, which is what the woke activist was trying to do. The moment you try to separate these two terms that are conceptually interrelated, it becomes impossible to speak coherently about them, since the two terms sex and gender are by their nature inextricably interlinked, which means that once you've severed sex and gender from each other, it becomes impossible even to think intellig intelligibly about them without acknowledging their interdependence. And that's exactly what Senator Cruz was demonstrating there. He drew out this conceptual incoherence that occurs once two terms that depend on each other for their intelligibility have been split apart. Or think of it from another vantage point. You're going to love this. Think of it this way. If there's no difference between men and women, then how on earth can you account for the supposedly evil, oppressive patriarchy? <laughs> right? I mean, think about it. 
If there's fundamentally no difference between men and women, which is a fundamental tenet of today's modern day liberalism and feminism, if there's no difference between men and women, then how on earth can the liberal blame specifically men for being prone towards oppressing women? How can you blame men for something that couldn't possibly exist in an androgynous world? If there's no difference between men and women, then there's no such thing as the evil patriarchy woke activists are constantly railing against. They become fundamentally antithetical beliefs. You see, Jordan Peterson has argued, rightly in my view, that the culture wars today have been provoked largely by virtue of the fact that the left has in effect gone insane. In other words, the culture wars are emphatically not what James Davison Hunter described them to be as a mere difference of opinion on what constitutes justice and freedom. Davison Hunter argued that the left defined justice economically and freedom socially, while conservatives were defining freedom economically and justice socially. That may have been the case back in the early 90s when Hunter published his book. That ain't the case no more. The culture wars have not erupted because there's a difference of opinion on things between the left and the right. The culture wars have erupted largely because the left has gone nuts. Peterson brings up the Supreme Court nomination of Katanji Brown Jackson, who was nominated admittedly because she was a black woman. That's certainly what was being celebrated, right? And yet, you all remember what she said when asked what a woman is. Right? She said she didn't know. I'm not a biologist. So as a result, the modern woke left demanded that we both celebrate the first black woman appointed to the Supreme Court and also that there is no objective definition to the term woman. This is the essence of the culture wars for Jordan Peterson. One side, whether we like it or not, one side has gone completely insane. The woke left perpetually violates what's called the law of non-contradiction. The law of non-contradiction states very simply that two contradictory views, two contradictory propositions cannot possibly be true at the same time and in the same context. It's simply an inviolable law. You can't violate it without affirming it. Aristotle used to point out that the easiest way to prove the law of non-contradiction is to try to argue against it. Because the only way you can argue against it is if you argue for one side over and against its opposite. But that's precisely the law of non-contradiction. Two contradictory views cannot possibly both be true at the same time and in the same relationship. And I think this is why the woke left constantly descends into triggered hysterics. Because they can't argue. They can't engage in cordial dialogical conversation in a free exchange of ideas. It's precisely because their ideas defy coherence. They've embraced contradictory notions that by their nature cannot possibly be discussed logically and coherently. So they freak out. They freak out. They lash out. They accuse. They malign. They impute. And of course, demand that all their opponents be silenced. So bravo to Senator Cruz for once again demonstrating how the woke modern left have descended into absurdity. And the good news is that that absurdity inevitably will ultimately be their downfall. Hey, gang, if you want to connect with more courageous patriots and start taking action and organizing, be sure to join my Telegram group. I post the latest breaking news I find interesting and chat with my favorite patriots around the country and even the world. Click the link in the description below and join the conversation today.